The Zion Centre is a community centre in the proper sense of the word. We are a business that changes lives. We're a multi-agency building. Most of the staff that work in the centre are local. We work as a team and it's a brilliant team. Good place to work for me. The whole vision and aim of the centre is to pull together a range of um, providers from private sector, public and voluntary sector. Twenty years ago, the Zion Centre first established its roots at the back of the Zion Arts Centre. And we'd got uh, a small grant of £17,000 in the back of the derelict building next door um, to try and uh, develop a community centre about wellbeing. It then grew in terms of the number of services and providers based in the centre. And there was a real strength of community power and ability to do things for themselves. Um, it really was the beginning of the Big Life Group. The philosophy of the centre is very much about helping people to help themselves. We want to connect, but we're not the connector. We like to feel that our buildings and our services are part of a whole range of things that are on offer to people. We have a needle exchange on site, we have community midwives, we have HARP which is a mental health project that also runs the cafe. Anxiety UK and Self Help Services are both based here as well which do lots of like drop-ins for anxiety, depression, um, we have a self-harm group, so there's, there's a whole bag really that the community can come and get involved with. I came suffering with depression and low self-esteem and mm -hmm. not feeling good about myself at all. I was at home bringing up children and I came here and the, I started to help running a women's group and then eventually I was running the women's group mm -hmm. and it built my confidence, my self-esteem. Now I'm doing college courses, stuff that I would never have done before. I came here you know, initially doing an arts programme, an arts course, and uh, I went on to sort of do other sort of groups in the evening through the self-help services. I think we've kind of, we're like, I suppose, a one-stop shop for everything. You can come and have your dinner, you can come and make inquiries, you can have a cup of tea with somebody that's friendly. We see people coming in in all different kinds of um, situations, so we see a lot of homeless refugees, um, a lot of different families come in, just all sorts. There's no particular one kind of a person, what we see. So we really encourage people to not just come with what their needs are, but to give us what it is that they've got to offer as well. We encourage people to do volunteering, and then we help by offering training. We also have really strong local employment. These are people from this community, they're not people parachuted in. So then they've grown up with yeah, people, yeah, they know the yeah. moms, they know the dads, and you've got context then, if you're just parachuted in, there's years of trust you've got to build up. I first came to say in back in 1991, in September, through my sister, um, Sandra, saying that I was looking for a cleaner. Um, so I came to see what was happening, and from there I got the job. One of the key aims, principal aims of the Zion Centre is about um, creating opportunities for local people, not only to be able to serve them with the types of services that they need and require, but then progressing that further with looking at what opportunities um, we can offer them. I'd say it's really good, really um, constructive, and uh, yeah, it's really good if you want to change your life in any way, if you want to start doing something. I think for me I felt a little bit nervous because I've not been to work for a, a little while. I've been out of work for a year and a half and looking for work and been unable to find any. So when I came here I was slightly nervous but all the staff here have been great. They just made me feel right at home from coming through the door. We worked out hours that I could work, hours that suited them, hours that suited me and we came up with a timetable which was great for me and has worked really well for the Zion Centre. And I'm here five months down the line and I'm still really enjoying it. You know, some days it could be sad, some days we'd be happy. Yeah. But some of the situations we find, yeah. I go home and I go, but did that bloody happen? <laughs>
What we've achieved in the last 20 years, the main thing is, is for the centre to remain fluid and be responsive to community needs. It's not always about bigger, grander, bolder. So actually consolidation and continuity is one of our big strategic aims. So we want to continue to be at the forefront of innovation and tackling the problems, whatever is going to coming to hit us next. It's going to be a case of, again, liaising with the community um, and seeing what they want. I want this to last as long as we can. <laughs> you know, um, want this to go like another 20 years. The future for the Zion is to ensure that local people have complete um, ownership of the centre. But absolutely, totally, most of all, that this community continue to love us. That's our strategic aim.